The Truth About Canada and Refugees, I'm Brian Lilly with The Rebel.media. You've heard the competing claims that Canada is one of the most generous in the world in taking in refugees or that we're a laggard. You've heard that we've brought in the second most number of UN refugees, second only the United States, and maybe you've heard that, no, we've fallen from fifth to 15th place. So what's the truth here? Well, that depends on how you define refugees, how you're counting them. Now, are we talking about people that come through the United Nations refugee system, or are we talking about the people that show up at your door and claim, often falsely, to be refugees? Trust me, there is a world of difference, a huge world of difference. Now, I'm going to cite the United Nations here because in 2014, the UN listed Canada as the second highest for resettlement of UN refugees. These are the people living in refugee camps in some of the worst parts of the world. These are the people that the United Nations asks member countries to resettle. But then you've got the off-sited stat claiming that we've fallen from 5th to 15th in welcoming refugees. Now this is a number determined by just counting the people that show up at your door and claim to be a refugee. And you have no way to know whether they really are and then you as a country have to verify them yourself. Now, why would Canada have fallen on that list, but not in taking in UN-sponsored refugees from camps? Well, there's a couple of reasons for this. First, the spike in people seeking refuge due to wars in places like Iraq and Syria. Where do those people go first when they're fleeing an actual war? They go to a nearby country. That's part of the reasons why so many have ended up in places like Turkey and Jordan. It's why so many are now going to Europe. I'm not even talking about false refugees here yet. Let's assume that they're all legitimate they go to a nearby country. Well, since about 2002, Canada has been moving towards not taking in refugees that are already in a safe third country. Why? To stop refugee shopping. You get turned down in one country, you go to another. This isn't a conservative government idea, by the way. I mention that because we keep hearing about how Stephen Harper is making our system meaner. This was started by Prime Minister Jean Chrétien and is then Immigration Minister Denny Coderre, the current mayor of Montreal. I remember going to the news conferences on this very change. Well, next, Canada has also tightened up the refugee system. Did you know that in 2007, we suddenly had more than 7,000 refugee claims from Mexico? The next year, we had more than 9,000. This was years before the drug wars were ripping up the northern part of that country. These people were not persecuted. They were not in a life and death situation. They were economic migrants who thought Canada looked like a good place to live. So they jumped the queue and claimed to be refugees when they were not. It didn't matter. Our system had to process them as if they were refugees until it was proven otherwise. By the way, in 2009, 2010, and 2011, we had a similar problem with Hungary. Yes, Hungary, a member of the European Union, suddenly became our top source country for refugees. Now, they were fake, but they counted as how many refugees we were welcoming, even though in that instance, in the Hungarian instance, Many of them just abandoned their claims after they got here. They walked away. Why? Because they were fake. They just wanted a way into the country. Look, when you stop taking in 9,000 fake Mexican refugees in a year, your total number goes down. But then the left claims, well, we're less welcoming, even though the government is working with the United Nations to deal with bona fide refugees. And we're still second in the world for that. And I thought that the left always wanted us to work with the UN. Or is that only if it's on a report that helps beat up the government? The idea that Canada is anything but a generous country when it comes to refugees is a lie. We are open and we are welcoming. That doesn't mean we're stupid. We need to be cautious. We need to be secure. It's well known that ISIS is looking to exploit the refugee crisis, the real crisis, to export their fighters around the world. We don't want them in Canada, but Canada has helped resettle thousands of refugees over the last several years from that war-torn part of the world, including thousands of Chaldean Christians that had to flee Iraq or face death. These are the facts. Unfortunately, they are facts that you won't hear anywhere else.